Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Keeping It With BB. If you're new, I do fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. Today is a really exciting one. I've been waiting to do this type of video for years, this type of unboxing video for years. I love watching these videos. It is going to be a luxury unboxing. If you clicked on the video, you know what I'm unboxing today. It's super exciting for me. I've been wanting a Chanel bag for years now. And I just got to a point in my life where I could afford one in a specific price range. Their prices are getting ridiculous. They had a price increase in 2020 and they just had another one at the beginning of this year. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm gonna be talking about price, where I got the bag, how I got the bag, and we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is the bag in the dust bag, of course. I did get a vintage Chanel bag and it did come with the vintage dust bag here. I believe this is made out of wool. It feels like wool, could be polyester, I'm not sure. And now for the big reveal, this is my new single flap Chanel vintage handbag. This is a vintage style. It does close flat, but you put things in it and it opens up like this. It is in the black lambskin leather with the CC here. And this is a three series bag. And I will pop the chart right here on the screen to show the Chanel serial numbers, like the, um, series numbers and mine is a three so this bag is from 1994 to 1996 so this bag was made between 1994 and 1996 i'm not i'm not sure the exact date or year but in between that range this bag is in immaculate condition as you can see there's of course some wind here there are a couple of lines i guess you could call them kind of like a wrinkle across the top here nothing too noticeable but there are no scratches whatsoever on this bag the quilting is of course flattened out a little bit because that happens with older chanel bags but i kind of like that look i'm not too fond on the puffy quilting or maybe it's just because i have this bag now and this is my bag and this is what i prefer but i really like this kind of flattened out quilted look the chain you guys is in such great condition and it's still so bold. I don't see any tarnishing on the chain. So this is the classic Chanel chain. And this is what it looks like up close. It is that 24 karat gold plated hardware, which I just love. So this is what the inside of the bag looks like. It has that classic burgundy Chanel red. We have our little CC zipper here. Love this CC right here. It's just, oh, just, I just love it. You guys, I love it. So this hardware is 24 karat gold plated. They don't do that anymore, which they definitely should because their bags are ridiculously expensive. I think the Chanel Classic flap is over $7,000 now, which is crazy. I can go ahead and get into the details about how I got the bag, where I got the bag, how much I paid for the bag. I feel like price is a really good thing for people, especially those who are searching for maybe this particular bag or just anything in general, because it could probably give someone an idea of a market price to look for for that item, especially if it was pre-loved. So if they're looking on the pre-loved market for something, they can see, okay, well, so-and-so just paid this amount for this bag in this condition. Let me see what I can get for maybe that price, a little bit less or a little bit more. So, I did purchase my Chanel bag off of Poshmark and Poshmark does now authenticate things over $500. This bag was listed for $1,500, I believe, and I kind of lowballed my first offer. I think I offered like $1,100 and it was immediately ignored. And I was like, okay, like I probably shouldn't have done that. And then I offered $1,375 and that was accepted. So I paid $1,375 plus tax and my tax was $99 and some change. So total for this bag with taxes, I paid $1,474.69, and that is in USD. I know that is a lot of money. It is a ridiculous amount of money for a handbag, like I know. But I've been wanting a Chanel bag for so long and a classic style like this, a classic vintage style specifically like this. I've been looking at this style 
of bag for years now. I do like the classic flap, but I wanted something a little bit different than the classic flap. Plus these are less expensive than the classic flap. For some reason this style just doesn't go for as much as the classic flap does online or anywhere really. And this style is not produced anymore. The person that I purchased the bag from on Poshmark, she did tell me that the opening of this bag was a little bit hard to open and a little bit hard to close just because the, this part right here is a little bit broken on the inside. It does still open and snap close. It's just a little bit harder than it should be, which to me is not that big of a deal. I could probably get it fixed later on, but I feel like to get it fixed, they would have to remove the um, original hardware on the bag and I don't think that that's something that I want to do. Just in case I ever do want to resell the bag, I want to make sure that all the original hardware is on the bag. So that is the only thing that was wrong with this bag. There are absolutely no tears, no rubbing issues, no scratches. If you're shopping pre-loved luxury online, just make sure you're shopping from a reputable site. There's Tradesy, there's Fashion File, there's The Real Real, there's Poshmark, and if you're spending more than $500, Poshmark will authenticate for you, which is so cool. So what, what happens is you buy the item, the seller then ships your item to Poshmark headquarters in California, they authenticate it and then they send it to you. And I think that process overall, it only took, I think, let me see what day I bought the bag. So I purchased this bag on January 14th and I received the bag from Poshmark and everything on Monday, January 25th. So overall it took 11 days. I don't think that that is a really long process at all. And I'm just so excited to have this bag. I've been wanting, like I said, a vintage Chanel bag for a long time and this is a classic style. I'm super happy about it. And now I'm gonna show you what fits inside and then I'm gonna show you some mod shots and how the bag looks on me. So I'm gonna be transferring the things out of the bag that I'm currently using, which is my vintage Christian Dior bag and I normally wear this bag just like this. Crossbody is my preferred way of wearing my bags. So this is my vintage Christian Dior and I'm gonna take everything out of here and put it into my Chanel bag and we'll see if it all fits. The first thing that I see in this bag are my antibacterial hand wipes. I have my hand sanitizer. I like spray hand sanitizers. I have a face mask never leave home without a face mask i have my wallet right here this is a coach wallet my keys then i have this little christian dior pouch where i keep all of my trial size perfumes next i have my airpods in this little fake gucci AirPod case and I have a coupon right here for Ace Hardware and I forgot to mention I have not cleaned this bag yet but I will be buying the Cadillac leather and boot cleanser and conditioner from Ace Hardware if they sell it. If they don't I'll have to find it somewhere else but that's why I was saving the coupon to see what leather conditioners they have at my local Ace Hardware. So next in my bag are these alley-oop biodegradable water-based body cleansing cloth. I haven't used these yet, but they did send these to me and I've just had them in my bag since. So I have two of those. I have my chapstick here, which is Beauty by Pop Sugar. So let's go ahead and see what fits in here. The first thing I'm gonna put in are these wipes since they're pretty big. Let's go ahead and put this in behind it. Wallet next. This is what everything is looking like. So far, I'm gonna drop the chapstick, the AirPods in there. Actually, I can probably put these two wipes in that zipper, that zipper compartment right there. Of course, always have my phone in my bag, so I'm gonna put that here in the back part as well. This bag is leather lined, so I don't wanna just drop my keys in there because your keys can really damage your bags. If you have a leather lined bag, I highly, highly recommend that you put your keys in something else, some type of pouch, um, key pouch, key holder, anything. Now that I'm using this leather lined bag, I'm going to take out my beautiful Louis Vuitton multicolored key clay. I just love this little pouch, you guys. Look at those colors. Mm, 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 mm. Just, just beautiful. And there is a 
what are these called again? Carabiner here in this bag that you can attach your keys to. So my keys are in there now and I actually purchased this pre-loved as well from a trusted Japanese eBay super seller. So I love this thing. This key clay was in collaboration with Takashi Murakami who is a Japanese artist. He has done a couple of collaborations with Louis Vuitton and this was the multicolor collaboration that they did in the early 2000s, early to mid 2000s. It is now discontinued, but I love this collection. If I could get more things from this collection, I would. It is highly sought after. And for some reason, like in the past two, three years, there was a resurgence for this collection and people have been wanting to get their hands on it again. I actually bought this before that resurgence. So I got a pretty good price on it, still pricey, but pretty good price compared to what they're going for now. I got this, I believe for $180, $185, something like that, a little bit over two years ago. So this is what the bag looks like now. It is pretty full and I actually wouldn't wanna stuff it like this because I don't like how it's kind of deforming it either. So I am gonna look in the bag and see what is in here that I could possibly take out that I don't need. This is what the bag looks like now. I need my hand sanitizer. I don't need these perfumes. I can just take these out. This is what's in here now. We don't need the wipes necessarily. As long as I have my hand sanitizer, I think I will be okay. So I'm just gonna rearrange some things in here for a second. So I'm gonna move a couple things around and then I think this is pretty good let's close that up and see oh we need our mask need the mask for sure that's a must okay so let's see what the bag is looking like now but now that I've taken out those couple things the bag isn't so stuffed and full and deformed and this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to get up and try it on and show you guys what it looks like. So this is the way the bag looks crossbody, which is my preferred way of wearing my bags. I am 5'7", and this is how the bag looks. It is a shorter strap. I will leave the length of it below. I think it's somewhere between 12 and 14 inches long. I'm not exactly sure, I can't remember, but I will put it in the description box. This is how I would probably wear it most of the time. Over the shoulder does give you more of an elevated going out look. It's a little bit fancier, something about it is a little bit fancier. If I was going out, I wouldn't put everything that's in it in here probably. The bag wouldn't be as big, I guess you'd say. It could, it'd be a little bit flatter because there wouldn't be as many things in here, but this is what the bag looks like. I think it looks really good. I'm really excited to start using it and I'm excited to clean it with the leather cleaner and polish it up some. I think I'm going to get something to polish the hardware as well and I will link the polishing cloth below that I'm looking to purchase along with the leather conditioner that I'm looking to purchase to clean and um, give this bag a nice little treatment it doesn't look like it really needs much whoever owned this bag really really took care of it and i'm really excited to use it and glad that it is a part of my bag collection now i'm very blessed to be able to purchase something that i have been wanting for a long time i know luxury bags are not everybody's thing but it is one of my things I hope everybody is doing well and if you enjoyed this video and like videos like this then please please let me know and i will catch you guys next time bye